In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made a VHS cassette tape string maker. I've got a whole bunch of video cassette tapes that we can't use anymore because after we got our new TV a couple years ago, uh, it only has HDMI ports in the back and our old VHS player only has component out. So, and they're all really old uh, videos that my kids don't watch anymore. So they've just been sitting in the basement for a couple years now. And we're gonna be getting rid of them. So I thought maybe I would make something to make string out of all of the old cassette tapes. I started off with four of the smallest ones I could find. They were about a half an hour each. And I still have quite a bit left on each of these tapes. And from, from that, I'm guessing that was probably about 20 minutes worth of tape. I have 72 feet of very strong string. So this was a very challenging project, but I think I have all the bugs figured out and resolved. So if you think you might be interested in making VHS cassette tape string, stick around. Okay, now I got the pile holes drilled for the shafts. Now I'm going to flip it over and I am now going to use the hole saw to cut out the actual circle and then I'll flip, and I'll flip all the actual circles back over and finish drilling out the half inch shaft holes. Okay, got a nice half inch shaft hole and that is going to go into the center of all the small gears. I'm going to drill a hole through the side all the way through and that's going to be used for a pin to hold the gears onto the shaft. the individual pieces of the bandsaw. Okay, now for the plug, or axle, or whatever you want to call these things. 
Let's try and get it to work this time. Come on, make a mark. Come on. There we go. Hopefully you can see that on camera. But it did leave some marks this time. So now I'm just gonna make sure they show up as I'm going around with the chisel. Good. So on all the way, doesn't move on half the way and it will move freely. All right. So I glued a couple boards together. There's some uh, leftover two by four off cuts I have from other projects. That's where I'm gonna attach the handle to manually crank it. But it's also, the reason it's so thick is because I'm actually going to also uh, turn on the lathe and make myself a pulley so that if uh, this works out well, I will power this thing. Thank you. 